how to change default apps in Android devices. As you can see guys, I'm currently on my Android devices home screen. The first thing you need to do is open up the settings app. For me guys, it's on my home screen on the bottom right hand side here. So I'm just going to tap on it. Once you've tapped on the settings app, you'll be in settings. Next. Tap on apps. Once you've done that guys, you'll be in your app settings. Look for where it says general and directly underneath general, you should see default apps. Tap on default apps. In default apps, you'll see all the default applications that are currently set on your Android device. At the very top of the default apps list, you can see browser app, which currently the default browser app on my Android device is set as Chrome. Underneath, you can see caller ID and spam app. Currently that's set as none. Next is digital assistant app, which is currently set as Google. Home app is the pixel launcher. Phone app is phone. And finally, SMS app is messages. For today's video, I'm going to be changing the default application for the browser app, which as you can see on my device is currently set as Chrome. To set a new default browser app, simply tap on browser app and now you'll see various browser applications that you have installed on your Android device. As you can see guys, I have two browser applications installed on my device, which are Chrome and Brave. Before I change the default browser app, from Chrome to Brave, I'm just going to demonstrate that Chrome is indeed the current default browser application on my device. So I'm just going to swipe up from the very bottom and I'm going to open up one of my notes, which contains a link taking me to my own personal website. So I'm just going to tap on this link and click on open to demonstrate the current default browser app on my Android device. As you can see guys, my personal website opens up in the Google Chrome browser. Now that we've established that Google Chrome is indeed the default browser application on my Android device, I'm now going to change my Android device's default browser app from Chrome to Brave by first swiping up from the very bottom and swipe up again on the Google Chrome web browser to close it. Once done, I'm going to go back to my default browser app settings. Once here again, I'm going to change the default browser app on my Android device from Chrome to Brave by simply tapping on the circle next to Brave. Now the default browser app on my Android device is now the Brave browser. To check this, I'm going to swipe up from the very bottom. I'm going to go back to my notes and I'm going to tap on my personal website once again. Once I've done that, I'm going to tap on open. And now as you can see, instead of my personal website opening up on Google Chrome, it has now in fact opened up in the Brave browser, which I've just set as my default browser app on my Android device. Great guys, I'm now going to swipe up from the very bottom and I'm going to close out of the Brave browser by swiping up from the very bottom. Once done, I'm going to go back to my default browser app. Once here, I'm going to go back by tapping on the arrow at the top left hand corner. I'm now back in my default apps of which you can see the browser app at the very top is now displaying the Brave browser app icon. If you want to set or change the current caller ID and spam app, simply tap on it. As you can see guys, for me, it's currently set as none, but if you wanted to set it as the phone app or another alternative app, which you have installed on your Android device, you can simply tap on the circle next to it to set it. For me guys, I'm going to leave the default caller ID and spam app as none, which means no app is selected. And I'm going to go back by tapping on the arrow at the top left hand corner. For digital assistant app, simply tap on it. And again, if you have another digital assistant app installed on your Android device, you can simply select it. I'm going to leave this setting as it is guys. So I'm going to navigate to the top left hand corner of my Android device and I'm going to tap on the arrow to go back. For home app, simply tap on it. And again, you can change the default home app. For me guys, I only have one default home app installed on my Android device, which is the Pixel Launcher. And I'm going to leave that as it is. So I'm just going to go back again by tapping on the back arrow here at the top left hand corner. Next is phone app. Simply tap on the phone app if you would like to change the default phone app. As you can see, the system default is currently the phone app and I don't have another phone app application installed on my device and therefore I'm going to leave this as it is. So I'm just going to go back again by tapping on the back arrow at the top left. And finally, SMS app. Simply tap on it to change the default SMS app. 
As you can see, the current default SMS app is currently set as messages. I have another SMS app installed on my Android device, which is Signal. However, for this video, guys, I'm going to leave the messages app as the default SMS app. So all I'm going to do, guys, is tap on the back arrow at the top left hand corner here. Once you've changed your desired default Android apps, you can close out of the default app settings by swiping up from the very bottom and swiping up. And I'm also going to close my notes app by swiping up. You'll now be taken back to your Android device's home screen. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to change default apps in Android devices. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to let you go?